Hello and welcome back to our KSP career with me and in today's episode our mega ship is arriving at EVE and we will hopefully be deploying one at least of these landers and I'm thinking the one going to Gilly. However, first we need to fix up our EVE periapsis. So we are currently sitting at 84 million meters. So we just need to quickly correct it and make sure that it is at a more acceptable level. I'm thinking, let's say 500,000, 600,000 or something, as long as it's not, and also that it's oriented to going counterclockwise. Otherwise we're gonna have a tough time of switching orbits and everything. So. A total burn is roughly 86 uh, meters per second and after correcting that we are onwards to the EVE um, sphere of influence, yes. Uh, what was happening together in, with this episode was that the scan set was arriving at the same time but that will be coming in the next episode, that will be coming in the next video. So I've once again split them, although they were coming simultaneously, I was playing a little bit of one and then second. I've decided for consistency reasons and your viewing pleasure that you see mission per mission. Let me know in the comments below if that's acceptable. Anyway, periapsis is uh, burn is set and let's see how much we will need before we can actually circularize. Okay, 210 meters per second roughly. As I said, the first priority is just ensuring that we get captured by Eve. Then we will probably try to make, you know, uh, uh, an alignment with Gilly and then launch first the top uh, lander, which is the robotic lander for the airless bodies. With that being said, let's enjoy as we approach the beautiful purple Enchantress. Yes. Look at her. Magnificent as ever. However, do not be fooled by her gentle purple color. Eve is a harsh mistress. Once you get there, the atmosphere is toxic, the pressure is terrible, and uh, landing in itself can be challenging, especially if you're going orbital velocities, because once you hit that dense atmosphere, it's like hitting a wall of bricks. However, we will not discuss the landing on EVE today, because that's not the mission. We have three components of this craft. The first one being, okay, uh, the robotic lander for the airless bodies, which would be Gilly. Second one would be the lander for the orbit for the atmospheric bodies, which would be Eve. And the third one would be a big relay satellite that will support the both. Now, as you can see, here is the big relay satellite and then we have the lander and everything. So that being said, all right, now what I'm trying to figure out is the encounter with Gilly. As you can see, we have successfully captured in the orbit around Eve. And now what I'm trying to do is set the Gilly as a target, look, 24 degrees off. That's actually a quite a wide margin, meaning that we will need to do a hefty inclination change in order to get ourselves aligned with Gilly. So just now trying to figure out how much and what level would be acceptable when it comes to, you know, alignment. So let's quickly check. 674 meters, that's the closest approach. However, I want the closest approach to be a little bit less um, dramatic because if you come this, this would be like very high velocities, it will be hard to capture. So let me just reduce the, you know, periaps a little bit. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, there's the descending node. Now, okay, now we have even the ascending node. Minus 6.5. I'm trying to get it somewhere around 2-ish. Okay, and after some fiddlage, we are now at minus 0 0.2, which almost fills me with confidence. Okay, now let's look at it from this perspective. We should be encountering here while the craft is completely on the other side. Okay, like if I flip the orbit, oh, oh, then we get a very close encounter. Alrighty then. That means if I just take it down a nudge and then maybe burn radial inwards, that could help in terms of securing the encounter perhaps. Let's check. There we go. Oh, and we have the Gilly Periapsis. Well, honestly, guys, that's good enough for me. I'm not going to go much further than that. 
I'm perfectly happy with having a gilly periapsis and let's proceed to the sphere of influence change, shall we? All right, so now let's check it out. And we have a hefty inclination burn, 1,408 meters per second. Fortunately, we have plenty of fuel at this stage. I did pack, uh, you know, this uh, transfer vehicle with lots of Delta V because I expected that I will need a lot of, you know, inclination changes, burns, orbital insertions and whatnot. So it's a powerful rocket capable of doing many things. And I could have gone with, you know, having these tiny landers do all the work. However, that would put an ex that would put an excessive load on the rocket itself and the transfer vehicle. For the Delta V, if I, which I don't know I will need. So rather than this, we can always go with, you know, transfer vehicle, going in and out, doing a flyby while we detach the lander and land on the surface of EVE. That's the plan anyway. All right, we have a Gilly Periapsis 37. I mean, I think it's good enough. I'm not going to fiddle too much around it. I think that's let's go and transfer to the Gilly's sphere of influence. And while we do that, we can enjoy this beautiful footage of Eve and our lander or mega ship deployer leaving the Eve sphere of influence to capture around Gilly. Bye bye Eve, we will come back in a minute. We're just gonna visit your rocky moon. There we go. All right, so I'm just trying to guesstimate how much Delta V will I need to successfully capture. Okay, 662 meters per second. I think we have that in our, you know, lander itself. So I'm not gonna even touch the engines of the mega ship. It's just gonna be flying do a flyby and uh, as we detach this tiny lander. And the tiny lander is on top, so I'm just trying to find the decoupler. There it is. Decouple. Bye bye. Switch to it. Open the antennas and open the solar panels. There we go. I'm a little bit of a rush because I want to make sure that I ensure a proper, you know, retrograde capture. There we go, start burn in 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and ignition. There we go, almost there, a little bit more, 30 meters per second more, oop, there we go, oof, that was a little bit harsh. But alright, we're going for the landing anyway, and Gilly has such tiny, you know, gravitational pull so it's not really that I'm concerned about anything so we're fine all right we are descending the first landing site it will be apparently in Midlands so I'm not gonna choose too much I'm just hoping that we will have a nice view over Eve it looks like it could be in the shadow though which is not ideal and I have a, like this small tank full of fuel and as you can tell it's not gonna me help me out for landing because I want to do lasers and surface samples so what I'm probably gonna do once we hit that that we are close I'm gonna actually detach it you know stage jettison call it whatever you want like this and then Hadouken Ooh. okay yeah there we go, and let's observe the tiny lander as it goes downwards. There we go. Shame it's in shadow, but I promise you, we're gonna, as soon as we do some science in the Midlands, we're gonna be, uh, there we go, come on. Oh, and we've landed apparently. So it's not really a big deal. I mean, the tiny legs can suffice. The lander is quite, you know, light and everything so we have landed on the surface of Gilly meaning I'm doing my damnness to actually give us get us some science there we go contract complete beautiful 
telemetry report. I'm cramming all the science experiments that I can. I'm trying to avoid the radiations, uh, sorry, the atmo, the gravity scan, uh, the big ones, and the seismic scan, because those actually generate a huge amount of data, then gets, uh, which clogs the antennas from sending. All right, so I promised you a second sight, and second sight is gonna be, and it's gonna be in the light, rather than this one being in the dark. So. I turn on the ant engine and I've selected somewhere over there. Anyway, let's follow this little probe that could. It works flawlessly and with the relay satellite now being relaying data to Kerbin, I can finally control it. The problem with the previous ones were if we occluded, you know, the uh, directly the visibility to the Kerbin, I couldn't do anything. And now that we have a relay, satellite in at least one we can do a lot more which is kind of important there we go i'm trying to choose a, a better landing spot because i was hoping that i could see eve however this is probably not going to happen. I was trying to land on the top of that ridge so that we would have both sunlight and an unparalleled view of Eve. However, well, the time has stalled its toll, so I'm going to actually go now and just land wherever I'm given, so rather than doing too much of a fiddlage. I have decelerated a little bit and we are landing on highlands, which is a new biome. The only downside with EVE is that you really cannot accelerate the time more once you're landing. So you guys are actually watching this in three times time acceleration. I've accelerated the video, otherwise you would be sitting here for another 40 minutes waiting for this thing to land. Well, I value your time too highly. And there's a shadow on the surface of Gilly. So if you're enjoying the content, please do hit that like button, boop it up. And because this tells YouTube algorithm that my content is worth watching and gives me incentive to do more of this cool stuff that you all know and love. Anyway, thank you very much for that. Now we are getting ready to land three meters per second. I'm just gonna decelerate it softly. It doesn't need to be perfect. As I said, this is a very robust lander. There we go. Disable the SAS. Oh, it did, it did a little dance. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> now, all the experiments are running. So the only thing that's left for me is to actually run the laser and the hammer experiment because after I do those, then I will have lots of science that we can transmit back to Kerbin. Actually, I'm going to leave this little fellow parked somewhere over here. I'm not going to send it to more biomes. Maybe I will in the future if I will need more science data from the surface of Gilly. But um, all in all, I kind of hope you guys liked the today's episode. In the next one, we will be launching the relay. So smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.